Welcome to week four of ENC 1101. Um, as you will see this week, you have a reading from your textbook, which is 52 to 89. And then you also have a reading from Rachel Carson's Silent Spring. A couple of words on when you are referencing Silent Spring, since it is basically a novel or a book. It should be in italics, and it should also be evident to you at this point that Rachel Carson is a female and not a male. Many of you kept referring to her as he. Um, these are subtleties that make it look that you're not being thorough in your reading, so please make sure you address that. We also have an outside resource here and what you will do is you will click on this. This is a supplement to um, what you'll be reading in your textbook and you will see the Aristotelian argument. All right. um, what you're going to be doing is looking at the publication of Miss Carson from an Aristotelian standpoint. In particular, you will be looking at ethos, pathos, and logos. Now, if any of you had AP Lang, then these should be familiar terms with you. Otherwise, um, the book explains them to you, and you also have definitions here. So here you have ethos, here you have pathos, Ethos is credibility, and you did touch on that a little bit last week. What qualifies Miss Carson to speak on the topic? Pathos is anything dealing with emotional appeal, and then logos would be logic. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going into the writing. Okay, and what the assignment indicates is that based on your reading of chapter 4 of our text and the supplemental handout that discusses Aristotle's appeals, select only one chapter from Carson's Silent Spring and evaluate it in, in terms of ethos, logos, and pathos. And you would begin your analysis by discussing other important considerations such as purpose, audience, occasion, and then followed by a thorough analysis of the entire chapter. All right, so you can choose any chapter from the book that you would like, but it needs to be an evaluation of the entire chapter. Um, I would expect that we're looking at approximately 500 words. Um, please set it up in double space and paragraph form. Many of you are forgetting to use paragraph. Even when you use the discussion board as your platform and it's more impromptu writing, you still need to abide by academic requirements in terms of um, the convention of paragraphs. All right. Um, so also in this, please make sure that you identify the specific chapter from Silent Spring that you are evaluating. All right. And you can set it up in actually essay format. One of the things that you might want to do is in your intro, this is at least how I probably would do it, identify the chapter and then what is the purpose of that particular chapter, who might the audience be, what might the occasion be, and then um, throughout the chapter. You do have to use specific evidence. So if you are saying that in a particular instance she uses ethos um, to prove her credibility, then I need to see the examples. Typically when you do excerpts you would not use um, any more than about a sentence to prove your statement. I don't want to see big blocks of quotes, right? And then um, when you're finished with that, then you would simply upload it. 
Okay, and continuing with our analysis of Aristotelian appeals, um, what you're going to do here, this is more of a visual representation. You're going to click here, and these are the 20 most creative environmental ads. You are going to choose one of the ads, whichever one you would want. This is not an ad. That is an advertisement, so don't go over there, but these would be your 20 ads. And then you are going to um, analyze it from the, the perspective of ethos, logos, and pathos. Okay. Um, I would make sure that you include the visual with the analysis so that I will be able to see what you're specifically addressing. Also notice with this assignment that after you've uploaded and submitted your assignment, then you are to respond to a peer's um, evaluation. Please make sure that when you are responding to a peer that it is more than a one sentence uh, um, agreement with the peer or, oh, I never thought of that. That really is not helping anyone. So I need to see some substantial feedback on each of these. All right, if you have any questions um, throughout the week, please let me know. Once again, I would like to remind you that you are only to communicate with me in this course through our inbox. And there is a very specific reason that I'm asking you to do that. Number one, I check it every day and I can get back to you. My other mailbox is for administrative purposes and I don't check it every day. So if you want a response, you need to make sure that you contact me the way that it was stated in the syllabus. Thank you.